Hello and welcome back to Dr. John Pellegrino's laboratory. My name is Paul Canny and right now I'll be taking through the electrical components and electrical control box of our nano imprint lithography machine. So right off the bat we have a couple of switches on the front here. Um, first off we have our main switch and let me throw some power on for you. Our main switch is what turns the whole machine on and you can see over here our digital panel multimeter um, will output for you the volts that you're putting out, your amperage, your watts, and your hertz. Um, and right now we're only putting about 20 watts and that's basically just coming from our cooling fans located inside the box itself. Um, so we're not drawing too much power but it's just a nice indicator to know how much power you're drawing and that you are indeed drawing 120 volts at 60 hertz AC. Um, also here we have an emergency stop as well as on the machine. Um, in addition to the emergency stops, we have a couple of limit switches here, as well as kill switches. So if the machine is going to crash, as you can see, it will immediately turn the machine off and will require the user to restart before doing anything else. Same with our emergency switches. Um, so these are all the safety external devices of our machine. Alright, now I'm going to open it up and take you inside and show you some of the features that we're working with. Um, so right off the bat we have our main power cable coming in here um, this is 120 AC volts and then we take it from here down to an AC contactor uh, and this is really what's running with our emergency stops and emergency limit switches when those are tripped this AC contactor will immediately um, remove contact and kill all power to the machine so what we have next is a couple of 120 volt powers, grounds as well as earth ground uh, modular boxes. We have a couple of switches um, in case we need to switch any of the components off so that they're not drawing power. Um, and then over here we have a couple of fuses. Uh, these are all the fuses for our 120 volt alternating current devices. Um, and what we really did with this machine was try and separate out 120 volt, 24 volt, and then 5 volt logic stuff. Um, so it's sort of divided up by currents. Over here we have two solid state relays. This solid state relay is used to control our UV light and this solid state relay is used to control our embedded thermocouple heater. Um, the heater as well as the UV light both run off of 120 volt logic. Um, we have two cooling fans which are pretty straightforward. These are just to keep our components cool. Um, more on the 120 volt stuff. We just have a couple of buses to split up the 120 volts to where it needs to go. All of our fuses for our components, such as our fans, our homing switches, our heater, um, and these keep them from burning out. We'll blow a fuse before we break any of our components, so we're always safe. Um, we're going to take you up to the 24 volt level now. Um, what we have going on here is we have a cry, excuse me, we have an Antec AC to DC converter. This takes in 120 volt AC and it gives you outputs of 24 volt DC. 12 volt DC and 5 volt DC so this is nice to break it up most of our components such as our valves run off 24 volt DC so we've taken these lines and we've ran them over to here um, we have an SSR a solid state relay here and another solid state relay here and what these do is allow us to turn our 24 volts on and off depending on if we want to be drawing power for those or not so from these solid state relays we take our 24 volts um, and we plug them into these buses so that we can sort of break out that power. We go from the buses into um, these. These are more solid state relays and these give us logic control over the two valves on our machines as well as our Z cylinder on the nano imprint lithography machine. Um, from there, these solid state relays plug into these fuses, um, again accomplishing the same goal of blowing a fuse rather than blowing a component. So we have fuses for our roll to roll driver, our gecko drivers, um, are in our three valves. Uh, let me take you into our XY motion really quick. So from these fuse boxes for the geckos, um, what I'm referring to there are these three. These are gecko stepper drivers and what they're doing is sending output pulses into our XY uh, motors on the nano implant lithography machine. So these give us a nice um, broken up pulse that drive those stepper motors. Um, our logic is coming from up here. Let me pull this case off for you. This is a National Instruments um, DAT card. I think it's the USB 6341 series. Um, so that gives us a lot of analog input and output pins, a lot of digital input and output pins, as well as a couple pulse wave modulators. 
Um, the pulse wave modulators are used to drive our gecko drives down there. Um, and our digital in and out pins are used to drive all of our solid state relays. Um, and those are wired up into the machine as well.